Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over all of the achievements in Heavy Rain. This is a game that released originally back in 2010 on the PlayStation 3, and recently has come to Steam along with all of Quantic Dream's other games. So I decided to start with this one, and then we'd work our way up through all of those. Which, this game was actually pretty crazy when it came out, and now it's, um, it's interesting. Madison page 27, single. It has 56 achievements, none of which are that hard to do. It's just a matter of knowing what to do in order to get all of the different endings. So for the video, we're going to be going through the game in the most efficient way possible so that we have to replay the least amount of chapters in order to get all of the achievements and all of the endings. One thing to keep in mind while you're playing through it is that the way that they handle unlocking achievements is you're not actually going to see it pop up until you hit a loading screen going to a new character. So you'll do something in one chapter to unlock an achievement. You're not going to get the actual activation until after you get through that chapter and are sitting in the loading screen for the next one. I'd also recommend using a controller because PC port was uh, not great. So, of course, I use my handy-dandy Steam controller. So let's go ahead and get into the guide. And remember, if you like the video or find it helpful, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing because we're still trying to hit a thousand subs. Starting from the beginning, you'll automatically get interactive drama after you complete the third chapter, essentially just for buying the game and supporting the devs. For happy birthday, you'll need to complete the drawing, set the table, and play with the kids during the prologue chapter. After you get dressed and go downstairs, go over to the left to your office area and sit down to get to drawing. You'll need to keep doing it until it's completely finished. A little bit later, your wife will come home, you'll help her with the groceries, and she'll ask you to set the table. Then go out, play with the kids, and when doing the helicopter and plane parts, do not put the kids down until the game forces you to. Then you'll lift the kids up and finally win the fight against Jason. Good Father, you'll get for following the schedule with Sean and putting him to bed in a good mood on the chapter Father and Son. The schedule is written in the kitchen and there are a few clocks around the apartment to make sure you stay somewhat on track as it doesn't have to be the exact times. At 4.30, give Sean a snack. At 6, sit with Sean while he does his homework. At 7, have him eat dinner. And at 8, send him to bed and bring his teddy bear to him which is sitting downstairs in the laundry room. And just a reminder that these three first achievements will not unlock until you hit a loading screen to switch characters, and that continues with all of the other achievements as well. So you won't actually know if you've gotten the achievement until you get to that next loading screen and see it pop up. For Private Eye, you'll need to lead Lauren to talk about her son in the chapter Sleazy Place. You'll do this by choosing the options Compassionate, I understand, Lauren. Convince, the killer is walking around free as we speak. And then trick when going through the dialogue with her. Other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. Once you leave her apartment, you can then get White Knight for going back in and beating up Troy. You'll need to pass most of the quick time events to win this fight. Now for FBI Investigator and the first part of Nerd, you'll need to find all of the origami killer clues in the chapter Crime Scene. The clues needed in this chapter are listed here. And now we'll start going over where each one is individually. Inside the tent, there's the boy's face, the orchid on his chest, the origami figure in his hand, his hand a second time, and the cut on his leg. Near the tent, there is a pollen trail leading over to the train tracks, with a blood stain and footprints both there. Then there's blood on the fence. And then after climbing up the hill more, there are footprints and tire tracks. For good friends, you'll need to play two games with Sean and buy him candy on the chapter The Park. For this one, I just used his backpack to play with the boomerang. 
then the seesaw, and then bought him some candy. Got to remember is for remembering what time it was at the park and what Sean was wearing. So during the questioning on the chapter Welcome Norman, you'll need to tell them that the time was 4.15, his jacket was beige, and his trousers were green. For negotiator, you'll need to persuade the robber to leave on the chapter Hassan shop. Once the robbery begins, you'll need to walk up to him so that he'll notice you and then go through the following dialogue options. Calm. Name. Reason. Help. Killer. And drop weapon. Once you finish this chapter and get the achievement, you'll need to go back to the main menu, select chapter Hassan shop, to reload and choose to save progress from it. For this second run, we'll be setting up the first part of Perfect Crime. Once the robbery starts, this time just sit back in the corner and wait for it to be over. The guy will shoot the clerk and then run. VIP is for leaving home without being spotted by journalists in the chapter Paparazzi. In order to do this, you'll need to leave through the back door in the kitchen, go around back, and up to your car without getting too close to the paparazzi. For agoraphobia, you'll need to knock down at least 50 people in the chapter Lexington Station. Once time stops and you have to follow Jason, hit as many people as you can and try to go through the densest parts of the crowds to make sure you get at least 50. In the same chapter, you can get Lucky Locker for finding the correct locker on the first try. You'll need to be sure not to unlock any lockers until you get to row 18 and open locker number 3. During the chapter Nathaniel, you can get two different achievements. Each one is exclusive because Blunder is for shooting him, while Self-Control is for not shooting Nathaniel. It doesn't matter which one you continue the game with, so do one of them, reload, and then do the other. To shoot him, you'll need to do just that once he pulls a gun on Blake, for the other one, just talk him down and do not pull the trigger. Pretty simple. For Baby Master, you'll need to make no mistakes while taking care of the baby on Chapter Suicide Baby. Once you go into the house and find the mother, she'll ask you to take care of the baby. You'll need to change the diaper, warm the bottle, feed it, and then rock it to sleep. Be sure not to mess up any quick time events, as that will count as making a mistake. Moving on to the chapter, The Bear, Ethan will complete his first trial. You'll get Good Driver for completing this trial in general, and you'll get Kamikaze for taking the best route on the highway, and will get the first part of Trial Master done through this. Getting Kamikaze is one of the only semi-difficult achievements to get in the game, as you have to get through the trial perfectly. The easiest way to explain this is probably just for you to watch how I do it in parts, pause, and do those parts in your game, and then go back and forth until you get it all done. For Cat and Mouse, you'll need to beat Corda in the cold storage in the chapter Covered Market. This one is pretty simple to do, just get enough of the quick time events correct to win the fight and you're good. 
tough guy is another pretty straightforward one. You'll need to defeat Gordy's bodyguards in the chapter Kramer's Party. Once again, just get through the quick time events of this fight, and you'll get the achievement. In the next chapter, The Butterfly, you'll need to come up to the area with the electric fence maze. For the achievement Coward, you'll need to give up or fail the butterfly trial. The easiest and fastest way to do this is just to go to the left to the Coward door and walk through. Once you get out of the chapter and the achievement pops up, you'll need to reload the save, choose to save, and get back to the electric maze. We'll now get electrified for completing the butterfly trial successfully and add to our progress on Trial Master. To get through it, you'll need to start from the second to last opening on the right, go straight through, then go to the left, then go straight forward twice more to the end. Moving on a few chapters over to Shrink and Punches, there are two achievements to get. You'll need to get one of them, and then reload to get the other. It does not matter which one you continue the save with. Good Cop is for stopping Blake from hitting Dupree. You'll just need to intervene when given the option to do so. And Bad Cop is for allowing Blake to keep hitting Dupree. Basically, just stand there and watch him beat the guy up. Then on the chapter, The Lizard, you'll need to do the third trial, which will progress the Trial Master achievement. There are two other achievements associated with this trial, which you'll need to do two run-throughs to get both. The first one we'll get is Butcher, for cutting your finger using the saw or scissors. So just grab the saw, cut off your finger, and then head out. Once you get the achievement, load the chapter up again and we'll get Goldfinger for cutting your finger using the axe, knife, or pliers, then disinfecting it or cauterizing the wound. The easiest way to do this is to grab the axe, cut off your finger, then go grab the metal pipe, heat it up, and cauterize the wound. For Fugitive, you'll need to escape Blake in the subway station on the chapter Fugitive. Once you escape out of the window and run through the alley, you'll need to go through the cars and zigzag through them when possible until you get to the subway. Then do the same thing while running through the subway until you're able to cross the tracks and jump into one of the subways. For Ludwig Vaughn, you'll need to play the piano without a wrong note during the chapter Jaden Blues. For this, you'll need to make sure you don't miss any quick time events while playing the piano. Then, for Detox, you'll need to resist Tryptocaine. So right after you get done with the piano, you'll need to make the choice not to take the Tryptocaine and just go straight to the shower. Once you get to the loading screen and get these two achievements, reload back to the chapter Fugitive and choose to save. This time while going through, we'll get hands up for getting arrested by Blake on the chapter Fugitive. Once you get through the window and start running, just stand there and wait for them to catch you and arrest you. For Wise Guy, you'll need to switch off the surveillance camera before saving Ethan in the chapter Under Arrest. Basically, you'll just need to go into the room on the other side of the two-way mirror and turn off the camera, watching Ethan before you help him escape. That's it. You're free. Then in the chapter Manfred, we'll be doing the second part of Perfect Crime. You'll need to be sure not to touch anything that you don't have to and wipe off the fingerprints on everything you touched while leaving. Once you find Manfred in the back, you'll need to quickly clean off everything that you and Lauren touched and then leave. So keep track of every single thing that you touch and try to do the minimum possible. At the minimum, you'll touch the white phone in the back, the black phone behind the front desk, the two shot glasses, the bottle, the magnifying glass, the ballerina in the glass case, and the front door. At the end of the chapter, you'll get a shot of Manfred's body and then one of Scott and Lauren in the car. If you miss something, you'll also see a shot of what it was that you missed, and you'll need to reload the chapter and try it again. Then for I'm Not a Killer, you'll need to choose not to kill the drug dealer in the chapter The Shark. Once you get to the end of the chapter and the achievement pops up, you'll need to reload the chapter and choose to save it. 
On this one, you'll get I'm a killer for killing the drug dealer during the chapter. This will also take care of the fourth part of Trial Master. Smart Girl is for refusing the Doc's beverage in the chapter The Doc. For this one, Madison will be with the Doc and he'll offer a drink. Say no to it and when he asks again, still say no. I am, um, um I'm, I'm not really thirsty. In the same chapter, you can then get Queen of Ropes by escaping before the Doc returns. Once you're tied up and the Doc will have to go answer the door, as he leaves, immediately untie your leg and complete the quick time events before he returns. Just make sure that Madison survives this chapter for the four heroes achievement, which is going to be for completing the game with four characters alive. Then on the chapter Mad Jack, Norman will have to find all of the clues again for the second part of Nerd. The clues are three sets of blood trails leading to the acid bath, the mugs in Mad Jack's office, size 10 footprints, tire tracks that match the origami killers, a pollen trail in the back, spilled paint near the pollen trail, and finally, the acid bath itself. Be sure to activate the acid bath last, as that will start the fight with Mad Jack. Then Goodbye Mad Jack is for surviving the fights with Mad Jack during this chapter. You'll need to succeed at most quick time events and select the Impress option. Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man! Do not take Triptocaine when given the option, and then win at the second set of quick time events. For the chef, you'll need to prepare a good omelet on time in the chapter Yuri. So when Lauren goes to shower, you'll need to go to the kitchen and successfully get through cooking the omelet without messing anything up. Then on the chapter Twins, you'll get I'm not scared for following your brother without making any mistakes. You'll need to go through the entire chapter while perfectly performing every quick time event, which includes not messing up any of the balancing areas. This is most likely going to take a couple of tries, so go through it once, fully, just to make sure you see all of the different parts, and then you can try to start perfectly doing it on the second or third try. Pride Saved is for taking off no more than one item of clothing during Madison's striptease on the chapter Sexy Girl. Once you're in the room with Paco and you start stripping, only do the up option before reaching for the lamp and attacking him. Then in the chapter Fish Tank, you'll need to make sure you find all of the clues left by the killer for the third part of Nerd, and make sure Norman survives the fight so that he can be there in the end. When fighting the killer, also be sure to grab his coat to rip it open so that the receipts fall out. The clues that you'll need to find with Ari are the gas receipts, the scattered papers on the floor, the bullet shells near the door, the gun in the corner of the room, Paco's body, the pollen near the desk, the gun in the center of the room, and the lamp that Madison used. For Lover Boy, you'll need to forgive Madison during the chapter On the Loose. You'll need to kiss Madison when given the option, and then forgive her when she tells you that she's a journalist. Then for Escape Master, you'll need to escape the police at the motel during the same chapter. To do this, you'll need to call room 207 as Madison to warn Ethan that the cops are coming. Then as Ethan, you'll need to climb up to the roof and escape. Once you get to the next chapter, Trapped, you'll need to do another thing for the perfect crime achievement. When escaping the car, you'll need to let Lauren die. So don't say anything to her, don't interact with her, just escape the car and leave her in it. Then we have Invincible Scott for not getting shot in Kramer's villa during the chapter Face to Face. When going through the house and up to Kramer's room, do not mess up a single quick time event and you'll get the achievement. Then for the fourth part of Perfect Crime, you'll need to leave Kramer alone when he's having his heart attack. So don't grab his medicine for him, just go to the door and leave. 
For sacrifice, you'll need to drink the poison during the chapter, The Rat. Pretty self-explanatory, and once you do this, you'll also have fulfilled the last part of Trial Master for completing all of Ethan's trials. Once you get to the loading screen and receive these two achievements, reload the chapter and choose to save. We'll now get Clever Dad for working out where Sean is being held. For this, you'll need to refuse to drink the poison, and then choose 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road for the GPS. Then in the chapter solving the puzzle, we'll complete the final part of the nerd achievement for finding all of the clues using Ari and finding the origami killer. You'll need to analyze the fish tank video, finding and then analyzing the killer's watch, geo-analyze the gas receipts, analyze the killer's gun, and then geo-analyze the killer is a cop. Do not accuse Blake, because he may be a dick, but he is not the killer. I promise. Then in the chapter Killer's Place, you'll need to let Madison die for the fifth part of Perfect Crime. The easiest way I found was to escape the room you're locked in and then go through the fire for a bit and jump out of the window. Simple Mind is for saving the origami killer before he falls during his fight with Norman in the chapter The Old Warehouse. Once you beat Scott in the fight and he's hanging, about to fall to his death, pick him up and save him. Then stop doing any quick time events and let Scott kill Norman. This will also complete the final part of Perfect Crime for Cleaning Manfred's Shop of Evidence, letting Lauren, Hassan, and Kramer die, and then finally killing Madison and Jaden so that the origami killer will go free. Then in the same chapter, you'll need to save Sean to receive Heavy Rain Hero for finishing the game and save the kid for saving Sean. You'll then need to let all of the ending clips play until you get to the credit sequence so that they'll be unlocked and show up in the chapter select screen. For this one, you should have News Report, A New Start, Dead Heroin, Uploaded, and Unpunished from this first playthrough. At this point, we're going to go back through, reloading certain chapters to do things differently in order to clean up the remaining seven achievements, which includes unlocking every one of the endings. To start off this cleanup process, we'll load back to the chapter Killer's Place. For Cold as Ice, you'll need to survive the explosion by hiding in the fridge. So when Madison is in the hidden room, make sure that you put in the correct password Max so that she'll know where Sean is, then have her escape and get through the quick time event successfully until you get to the kitchen and can hide in the fridge to survive the explosion. Then in order to get four heroes for completing the story with four characters alive in the chapter The Old Warehouse, you'll need to have Ethan save Sean, Madison escape the police so that she can warn Ethan, and Jaden needs to kill Scott. At this point, you'll get the endings A New Life and Case Closed. Origami's Grave. Then we'll load back up into the last chapter, The Old Warehouse, to get so close, for reaching the end with all characters and failing. In order to get this, you'll need to do nothing as Norman and Madison. Madison will get arrested, Norman will be killed, and then Ethan will be shot by the cops. This will then unlock the ending, Ethan's Grave. Now we'll load back into the chapter, The Rat. On this one, you'll need to choose not to drink the poison and choose the wrong address. So pick either the lane or park options, but not the road option. Then on the chapter, Solving the Puzzle, close out of Ari immediately and choose to give up. Then on the chapter, Killer's Place, you'll need to let Madison die again by jumping out of the window. This is going to unlock the endings Origami Blues and Smoking Mirror. We'll then reload to the chapter Killer's Place again and be sure not to put in the correct password on the computer. Then successfully escape by hiding in the fridge. And this will unlock the ending Tears in the Rain. Now reload back to the chapter on the loose and we'll get the achievement Unforgivable 
for not forgiving Madison. So you'll need to kiss Madison and when given the choice, do not forgive her for being a journalist. Then in the chapter Trapped, we'll get the achievement Swimming Instructor for saving Lauren when underwater. You'll need to save Lauren from the sinking car by interacting with her after you untie yourself and then escape the car. Then when on the chapter Face to Face, we'll get Kind Hearted for giving Kramer his medicine. Once you get into Kramer's room and he starts having his heart attack, open the drawer and give him his medicine. Then, on the chapter solving the puzzle, just immediately give up again. Then, on Killer's Place, do not get the address from the computer and escape by hiding in the fridge. This will all unlock the endings Helpless, Square One, and A Mother's Revenge. Now for the last few endings, we'll need to reload to the chapter Killer's Place again. You'll need to find the address from the laptop and escape by hiding in the fridge, but do not call anyone else. In the last chapter, The Old Warehouse, you'll need to save Sean as Madison and survive the fight with Scott. This will then unlock the endings Innocent, Heroin, and Resignation. At this point, you should have all of the endings and will unlock the last achievement, All Endings. I put the final list of endings here so that you can double check yours, but as long as you go through and do the exact things listed throughout this guide, you should successfully get all of them with the least amount of chapter replaying possible. And with that, we now have 100% of the achievements in Heavy Rain. If you liked the video or found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below with what games you'd like me to cover next.